The Lord be with you, my friends in Christ, this Thanksgiving week. I know it's a specific national holiday, Thursday, but Always Thanksgiving is the title of our devotion for today. Always Thanksgiving. And I'm not talking about getting overwhelmed by the amounts of food that would mean or the amounts of football games or the amounts of stress and preparation and cleanup and all of that. I'm not talking about that kind of abundance always. What I'm talking about is what we will hear in the scripture verse for today, and that's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, where the Apostle Paul writes this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It is certainly true. There are so many times when we don't know exactly what God's will is, his hidden will. And so we go to the place of his revealed will. And here we see, and here the Lord tells us exactly what his will is, at least in a very huge and wonderful part. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all all circumstances. So always thanksgiving. And there is a superabundance. Oh, by the way, a current event. I don't know if you've heard or not, but there's not. Um, we've been hearing that there's not a superabundance, the usual abundance of turkeys uh, available for Thanksgiving. If you have turkey on your menu, I hope you've got it already because because we've even heard of places that are limiting turkeys. As a matter of fact, Sharon and I uh, tried to go into a store that was limiting turkeys, <laughs> and they wouldn't let me in. I had to wait in the car. They were limiting turkeys. Okay. So, back to the scriptures. That's a better place to be. The abundance of God. God never has a shortage and that is what empowers our always thanksgiving. When we hear the Lord encourage us to rejoice, always pray without ceasing, have a constant life of being a learning, growing follower of Jesus, it doesn't start with us or our supply or our ability. It starts with the abundance of the grace of God in the gifts of God in his word and sacraments. There is no shortage of his power, no shortage of his peace, no shortage of his presence with us this day, a day of always thanksgiving, and on into this week, days of continuing to receive the bountiful grace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ, ours for free because of his life and death and resurrection. May God continue to bless and empower your week of always thanksgiving. I invite you to pray. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, for your care, for your presence now. Bless us that as we bring our prayers to you always, rejoice in you always, give thanks in all circumstances, we do so by your grace, to your glory, with your strength. Bless our days, bless our loved ones, and we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I look forward to breaking into your Thanksgiving Day celebration with another devotion. Lord willing, we'll see you later.